everybody welcome to my youtube channel that time of the year has come when we are loaded with festivals one after the other and how much do we love it beginning this auspicious time of the year we indians celebrate navratri and the most exciting part about navratri is, is the garbas and the dandiyas that we do to celebrate these nine amazing days and obviously it was my duty to come up with some inspiration to help you guys in case you're headed for a garba or a dandiya night so this is the look that i have come up with this year i am wearing purple eyes because you know this is going up with the border of my my uh, dress so i thought that it would really complement the whole look and i am wearing subtle lips because obviously when the eyes are loud you don't want a lot of attention on your lips and complementing the entire look is the silver oxidized jewelry which is the trademark dandiya jewelry and these black little dots which complete the whole look and i really 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 like it and i hope you do the same so if you want to learn how to create this gorgeous makeup look then please continue watching I will use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade medium 25 as an eye base and I will blend it seamlessly with my ring finger. And now taking this soft brown color from my Maybelline Blush Nudes eye palette, I will use it to define the outer V and the crease line of my eyes. Now I'll take some more of that concealer on a flat brush and I will apply it on the areas where I would want to apply my purple eye shadow and picking this purple shadow from my Technic eye palette I will start dabbing it on the same areas uh, this eye shadow palette has a very average to decent coverage so yes I had a tough time getting some color on my eyelids taking the same brown shade we will just redefine the crease and the outer v for the eyeliner i'm using my all time favorite nika get inked pen eyeliner and uh, my target of the eyeliner is not very thin not very thick just the regular winged eyeliner Time to groom the eyebrows and I am using my Wet n Wild eyebrow grooming stick in the shade brown. Uh please 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 don't ignore grooming your eyebrows. They make a very important part of your entire makeup. I will use this Maybelline gel eyeliner to tightline my eyes because number 1 I want to have a real sharp kajal and secondly I want it to stay for the night. And with that we are almost done with our eye makeup and to begin with our face makeup we will prime our face using this NYX Angel Wheel primer. You only need a tiny dot of primer to prime your entire face. Now I'll be using this LA Girl concealer in the shade orange because we are all imperfect and I have so much pigmentation which I want to cover for the night so I'll be using orange to cover the darkness and green to cover the redness. Blend everything really nicely. You don't want the pigment to go off completely. You just want it to settle down a little. topping it over with my LA Girl HD concealer in the shade medium beige I will conceal it all on the areas where I had already corrected my face I am looking for a glossy finish today so I will be mixing my foundation with my NYX liquid eliminator uh, the foundation that I'm using is MAC waterweight in the shade NC37 I will mix these two on the back of my hand because that has a kind of heat which will help in you know the mingling of these two products and then I will generously apply it all over my face and blend it seamlessly
Now because I'm a combination skin type, I will use this Maybelline Clear Glow Compact to set my T-zone area. And then I will contour my face because who has the time for exercise and uh, the, the product that I'm using is this NYX Sculpt and Highlight in the shade Ivory and Taupe. Blending the contour nicely is very important because if you don't do it, it will look patchy. So yeah, even if your arms pain, please blend your contour properly. For highlighting part, I'll be using my all-time favorite Derma Color from Cryolan in the shade D4 and I will be using it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a little on the chin and a little on the forehead. Once I'm done blending all the product on my face, I will set it up using MAC Fix Plus because this will be like the final seal of the makeup. After this, I did use a beauty blender which I forgot to record. Anyway, coming back to my eye makeup, I will use a black eyeshadow from my Huda Beauty palette below the lower waterline. And then taking this gorgeous shade bubbly from my Huda Beauty palette, I will be applying it on the inner V and uh, you know on the eyebrows to highlight these parts. Time to blush with my Nika blush duo in the shade Malibu Barbie. I normally mix both of these shades and then I smile like an idiot and apply the blush on the, on the apples of my cheeks. I'll be highlighting again using the NYX highlighter and I just take it on a finger and apply it all over my face because the heat really helps to you know blend with the skin properly and then I will go over with my contour this time I'll be using my powder contour from color bar because um, I don't know I just want to look extremely chiseled also I prefer to contour my nose using a powder contour rather than a cream contour one more layer of highlighting using this pan highlighter from Makeup Revolution. You all know that this is my favorite. I will be applying a muted pink kind of a nude color on my lips from my Krylon lip palette which is in such a bad shape that I can't even show it to you guys. With that we are done with our makeup but of course it looks incomplete without the proper accessories and attire so here I come. For the final tarka, I'll be using this Nika uh, kajal to, you know, make three dots on the corner of my eyebrows and on the chin. And I'll be creating a little mole on my upper lip because I just felt like doing that. And here is the final look. I love that no spin though. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I had a really good time shooting for this entire video and I hope you had a good time too while watching it and uh, please post in your valuable feedback. I love 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 reading each and every one of your comment and then replying to it. So yes this is the way we interact and that is something that I totally look forward to. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't up till now. I will see you again with a new video. Until then bye bye take care and lots of love.